Vanya is a Fire Data Viewer for developers working with Fire. It connects to most Fire servers, handles all authentication for you, and lets you run any Fire query you want to run. I have eight Fire servers configured here. You can see them all on the screen in front of you. Now I'm going to click on the Fire Search Query button and start running queries. At the top of the screen, you can see an input box. This is where you type in your search query. And to the left of that is a drop-down listing all of the configured Fire servers. The Microsoft Azure Fire Server is the currently active server. Over here on the left, I have a folder containing five search queries I wrote earlier. I'm going to run through each of these very quickly. I click on any one. It expands the query details out into the input box here. You can see this is a search on patient sorted by last updated date. When I click send, it sends the query and the Azure server returns 10 results for 10 patients. Clicking on any one will expand out the details and the section on the right and clicking on the JSON tab will show me the raw JSON for that patient resource. The second query is a search by identifier. So now slightly different, we have an identifier parameter and a patient social security number. If I click send there, I should get one patient back. And there's our patient Xavier and there's the raw JSON for the patient resource. So query number three, we do a search on encounters. So we still want the patient. We still want the same patient based on the social security number, but we're doing a reverse include to also add the encounters that refer back to this patient. So we send that. And here we have our single patient. We expand out Xavier. We see six encounters. So a number of general examinations spread over a period from 1995 to 2019. And clicking on any one of these will populate the section on the right with the full encounter details with links to different resources and so on. And we have the JSON in there as well. The next query, we're going a little bit further. We're adding observations to the query. So we're doing the same query, patient with encounters, plus every observation that references back to the patient. We send that. Again, Xavier's returned. We expand it out and we can see all the encounters plus a number of observations. So we have vital signs, body weights, blood pressure, cholesterol, and so on. And we can click on any one of those and see the details expanded out here on the right with the raw JSON for that resource. The last query I'm going to show you is the call to the history endpoint. So again, dealing with our patient Xavier, we're making a call to get that particular patient by Fire ID, and we want his full history. So we send that off, and here we have all five versions of this particular patient resource as it was updated over time. We can see name changes, we can see address changes, and so on. And we can see again all of the raw data over here on the right. So a very, very useful feature. Any Fire query you want to run, you can run in Vanya, and you can save those queries in folders over here on the right and run them anytime you want. We can very easily change the Fire server we run the query against by simply choosing a different server from the drop-down list. Quickly jumping back to the home page, you configure your Fire service here in the main section. You can add new servers, delete servers, update authentication details, and so on. And you can click on any one of the 145 resource types over here on the left and populate the main screen with the latest updated resources of that type. So a very quick way of drilling down into the data to see what's been updated very recently. So Vanya is free to use. It's available for Windows and Mac, and you can download it from the Vanya Labs website. Thanks for listening.